Hello folks, we are going to be learning Welcome to Hell by Black Midi and that was requested by Patreon Jared. Thanks very much indeed for your support Jared. Um, and this is a bit of a curveball. I was going to just put this one over at Patreon but after listening to it a lot and they're a UK based band and they're an incredible like fusion of things think like mr bungle primus you know that sort of stuff so i thought i'd put it out here for everyone um so let's crack on um in terms of tones i'm going for neck pickups kind of quite a uh you know kind of a twangy tone i've got the uh greer light speed boosting my morgan mvp 66 and for the heavier part later on uh bridge pickup and i would just add like you know Another bit of gain. I'm using the 91. You know, and all that. All that stuff, okay? So, a combination of neck pickup, bridge pickup, and a couple of, couple of gain tones. First part goes. That's it. We're going to be using quite a few uh, octaves throughout this, right? So... You'll be muting the string in between the two notes with a bit of meat off the uh, first finger there, right? And I'm going to go quite quickly through this one because I imagine if you're trying to approach this one, then you're kind of intermediate anyway. Because there are some quick parts. So that's the first bit. Then we have this first riff. So the first beat of the bar is the ninth fret. And then it's just repeating it around twice, okay, for each bar. Okay, so that's it. Pretty straightforward. But you need to keep an eye on where you are in the bar because it's going to change part way through to... And here I'm playing... You can play first, uh, second and third fingers there if you want. I just naturally go on my little finger, so up to you. Um, so that whole first verse part really is one, two, three, etc. Right, and then on the fourth time, you're going to play this. So on the uh, fourth beat of that second bar of the fourth time right? use the tab you can see what i'm doing and then it goes nine ten with this three chord diminished thing right and then the riff becomes and you're going to play that seven times so to make it clearer i'm going to accent the first beat okay so like that right but you know that's just to give you an idea of what the bar sounds like. Because it's such a cyclical riff, you can kind of get a bit lost in it. The eighth time you play... One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, just 16th notes, right, on the 11th fret. Then you're into the chorus, this is cool. We have four chords. Okay, so we've got E, B flat, E flat or D sharp to A. But you're going to play. And you're, you know, you're making the notes quite staccato. Well, the chords, they're quite stabby, right? So when you play the root note, you got time to, you know, fill in the chord. Like that. You play that round four times. The fourth time has another little variance, like a fill. So you've got. And there you're going to play. So you're playing. Down, up, down. But you kind of dig in and just slide your fingers up, right? Okay. That's quite tricky. Hopefully you can nail that. Like that. The next part, you play this three times. That three times. Then the fourth time, you branch off and go to... Good 
go to that three times. That ref is... You do that three times, right? And then the last time you play... Five whacks there with a, an E note. Then you're into the middle eight, which goes. Three times. Third time. Then you move it up here. Play that again. Uh, we basically have an F. I think it's an F sharp seven sus four. And that is yeah, that shape, yeah, the uh, F sharp seven shape. So you're going to play. And then second finger. And then your third finger has time to go onto the root and you play. Again, squeeze down and off for that last rest. Like that, okay? So again, slowly. You do that three times. Fourth time, we go up to the 12th fret. So you're just walking that down and back up. Like that, okay? Same rhythm as before though. Then there's another break, and I think it's this. <laughs> like that, right? So you've got two of those, and then one, two, three on the low E. Then again. Same thing repeated, and then we have one section of that, and then another one of those. So slowly. Like that. Back into the chorus. Fourth time, slightly different, where you play. Play that the fourth time, okay? So that would be. Then you're into this breakdown part, you want to um, switch over to your slightly gainier tone. But to give you the tone, eight, seven, six. Down to the first fret. And round again. This time the fifth fret on the uh, A string, so the D. And then. <laughs> and then you're back into that, okay? So you've got zero, eight, seven, six, one. Second time. into that okay this next section slightly different um it's similar to the one we played before but we've got three of these and then you play back into that again right which you repeat around so you got the tab for that then we go slightly different um uh riff which is quite tricky but you can be quite forgiving on the that bit right because it's so quick um so we've got our diminished thing on the fifth fret so you play one to three one to three then a rest then a rest and then this <laughs> you 
<laughs> so you're going to play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? But your f- hands are going to go. Which is where the fast fret comes in really handy, actually. So you got that and you play that around four times. So slowly. That's it. All right, drum beat for two bars, and then you come in on the one end with um, this. Three, four, one. So the first one is. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, four, five, one. And then uh, drum beat for one bar, and then this other riff goes one. Like that, okay. <laughs> so, uh, and then it's kind of ad lib for a, for a, I think eight bars. So you've got this three, four, one. You know, you can mix that up really. I wouldn't worry too much. Back into this sucker. <laughs> Subtle difference there is you're going to the sixth fret again and you hold that for the bar, right? Play the whole thing twice. That holds for a bit, little drum beat, and then we go to this faster tempo part, which is awesome. You got that going on, right? Which is three, four, one. That goes around, that was twice, that goes around three times. And then after the third time, you play this. So you could play this. It's a major seven shape. But the way he phrases it is this. So you could do it that way if you want, if you're comfortable playing, you know, two adjacent notes with the same finger. Do that, it's probably easier, less, you know, that's tricky, he's using all four fingers. So you've got six fret, up two frets, up two frets, up two frets to 12. Back in. Three times of that and then Play that, uh, two bars of 16th notes on the F5. Then we're still on the same tone. We've got this then. Play that once and then twice, but the second time it's quite clean and quiet actually. Then back to our original tone with <laughs> really quick this time. So we've got but you play that four times, right? So you need to be good with your chord changes there. Rest for a bar, slower tempo. Then we have this little um, kind of turnaround phrase, which is. I think they're all dominant seventh. So you've got A, uh, D sharp, D, G sharp, G, uh, C sharp, C. Very jazzy. Also a little bit like Super Mario. Then we go to this part. Same thing again, fourth time. And this is the outro now, we've got. Slightly different, right? So again. Then this little fill. And back to the intro, so. But 
but that's the first and third beat there. And that is it. Hope that didn't go too quickly for you, but hopefully we got everything in there. Enjoy. Thanks, Jared.